Welcome to Derby College. This is the Broomfield Hall campus where we do a lot of land-based studies as well as sports and public services. But we're going to focus on horticulture and skip pretty much to that bit, first of all. Um, why choose Derby College? Well, we have over 2,000 plants in the college grounds. We have a walled garden and uh, lots of lovely gardens laid out. And you can get help with English and maths and employability skills and lots of other things while you're here. Um, we did well in Ofsted, so we were given a, a grade of good. And again, our inclusion and support here is very good. And we've got some excellent facilities. Uh, horticulture, uh, a lot of our students do really well and gain employment. We've had students go on to be greenkeepers, landscapers, nurserymen garden designers and landscape maintenance. Lots of our RHS students go on to run their own businesses in landscape maintenance. We have level one courses, level two, and some basic courses in level three as well, including work-based apprenticeship. Lots of partners, including uh, Makita, plant partner, and we do horticultural shows where we link up with the MS Society in Derby. So we have lots of connections with the, the community. Uh, the assessment for the course will be a mixture of practical and written assessments. We do on level two, there are some theory assignments. On the RHS, there's quite a lot of plant identification tests. So what's next tonight? Uh, you can go back to the virtual event page, homepage but it would be great to have a chat with you to find out what you're most interested in and tailor the course to your needs. So here's the college grounds and you can see there's the walled garden in the middle. This was designed and built by students and staff at the college. Um, we've got all sorts of little feature gardens around uh, that volunteers and staff and students have laid out. The grounds themselves go back to the 1800s, 1860s, 1870s. So lots of history here. The RHS course is made up of soil testing, plant propagation, pruning, establishing and maintaining a range of different plant forms, lots of identification, including plants, weeds, pests and diseases. And you have your own vegetable plot to grow your vegetables. So it's a good range of topics to give you uh, a good basis to, to learn your horticultural career, or if you're changing direction, it's an ideal course for that as well. Last year, we got the students involved with building a massive garden at the Gardeners World Live show called Revelation, and we um, were awarded a silver merit. And uh, here we can see Joe Swift uh, is talking uh, to me, Mike Baldwin, uh, about the garden. We try and have trips out as well. The students uh, were here in the middle. We're on a study tour. We went down to Great Dixter and we went to Hidcote and one or two other gardens. Here you can see them cutting uh, hedges, shaping hedges, uh, doing plot work and laying turf. Uh, the RHS course, the level two garden planning, uh, that covers a wide range of planning, including garden features, plant selection, a bit of garden history, uh, herbaceous borders and all sorts of things like that. Uh, understanding the choice, establishment and maintenance of garden plants and lawns. So uh, bedding plants, spring, summer, uh, herbaceous plants, alpines, aquatics. It's a big, big range of topics. Understanding the production of outdoor vegetables and fruit and growing plants under glass and the actual glass houses, heating, ventilation, lighting and all those topics. That's uh, a course where you can take an exam to get a qualification in. Uh, we also are gonna do the RHS level two theory this year, but we're gonna have six sessions. A lot of it will be studying at home, but you can come to the college and learn about plant classification, structure and function, plant nutrition and root development, uh, maintaining plant health and understanding plant propagation and plant identification. So that will top you up to make sure that you're prepared for the exam. Another course we do is the level three horticulture. It's like a, a landscape gardening kind of course, but we do cover garden design. Um, so surveying design using computers as well. 
We do plantsmanship, so designing herbaceous borders, designing rose gardens, sensory gardens, and then lots of construction to do with brickwork, paving, prescrete, resin bond, or unroofing. We have a level two diploma in horticulture, and this is very popular, particularly for the uh, under 19 year olds. And they do uh, a mixture of seven units, including plant science, setting out from a plan, undertaking work experience, establishing and maintaining plants outdoors, landscaping, uh, doing some turf maintenance and uh, propagating plants by uh, cuttings from seed and a variety of other ways. We also have apprenticeships here and we are moving on to a new system. So we are really cutting edge with our apprenticeship schemes. Uh, so this is where you work with a, um, a work experience provider who you work in the week and come to the college uh, for one day a week. So that's what we're doing with the new standard apprenticeship. And in that, what you do all sorts of things. You might have a landscape option. You might have more of a garden maintenance or it might be a green keeping option. Some of our students in action there. And so the level two apprenticeship standard, obviously we have mandatory units like health and safety, uh, maintaining and developing personal performance and working with others. And then lots and lots of topics. These are just a few preparing ground for seeding, establishing seeds in soil um, and plant identification. We also do a level three course, a level three apprenticeship where it's more supervisory, ordering materials, monitoring. And so that's a lot more uh, sort of management based in the level three qualification. So that's some of the topics that they do. Uh, and uh, as you can see, this, this is an indoor option, uh, green keeping, and it's plan and manage the control of pests and diseases and disorders transplanting root ball material. So why not have a look at our video uh, on YouTube? If you just key in that uh, uh, URL there, you can have a look at a video that was made by students. I look forward to talking to you soon. Uh, my name's Mike Baldwin and the other people in the team include Darren Ash and Cindy Hollick. Look forward to meeting you.